Alright, I am going to pee, and I am going to get that cable so we can hook up the gas gun. Uh, I'll give this thing time to cool off as well. And uh, we'll get the gas gun going and grab my camera. Try to get some results out of this thing. That's crazy. Quite a bit of force coming out of that hole. Still want to put something in there and shoot across the room. Yeah, I know it. West Coast. Let's, uh... Let's see if this fits in there, won't it? Oh, yeah, that'll work real well. Something smells hot out here. It's my heater, probably. Probably my leg. Something does smell warm, but... Oh well. I'm gonna shoot this piece of plastic across the room. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> it didn't even shoot it. It's got a hole in it, so... There it goes. <laughs> Not as much force there as you would think. I'll just lightly put it in there this time. There we go. Yeah. Went about as far as that piston did earlier. About ten feet. Alright, break time everyone. I'm gonna go get something snack on and some power cords and I'm gonna let this thing cool off. Take these earplugs out. Turn my pump down, it's still all the way up. You know what? It almost smells like my pump. Something smells hot. Well we'll leave all this off for a little bit. Um, I'm going to save this configuration first. Oh no. It's not connected. That disconnected. Okay. Might have to reset this thing back up. Well, everyone take a quick break. I've got to get something. Eyes are very hungry. I don't have to pee. Pulse fire disconnected itself. Must have been idle for too long. I don't really know. You know what? My heater's on, but it sure does feel like it's getting cold around here. I guess it's not. Just my hands. Alright, I'll be back, everyone. Take a break. Um, get the gas gun going, and then uh, I'm going to hook up this hydrogen generator to that electric generator sometime tonight. Or tomorrow morning, or wherever it is where you are. I lost my garage door open. Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm going to turn my audio off. I'll be back. I'll be back. If anyone leaves while I'm done, I appreciate you being here. Taco Bell. <laughs> Makes me death. Yeah, I don't, I don't eat fast food. Man, my camera's leaning off the bat, isn't it? Here we go. I'll be right back. Oh, uh, Oh, okay, Tony. I did find the MUR1560, and I do have some of those. Um, but I did see those other ones you're talking about, and I decided just to get the other one.
but I will keep that in mind. And uh, I don't know. What do you think, Tony? You think the 1560s will make much difference? It's just a higher voltage. Grab back, everyone. I guess I need to mute this first. The rest of you guys are going to be hearing a bunch of static.
Okay, I'm back. Stupid garage door opener wouldn't work. Not really sure what the freaking problem is, but it really made me mad. Standing outside, trying the one garage door opener, and I try the other garage door opener, and then I go inside and the other garage door opener. And... It just didn't work. Now they do. Whatever. I would just walk in the door, but I don't have one. Mmm. Tony, are you still there? I have a couple questions for you, if you wouldn't mind answering them. Not really sure where my cable went I used the last time. Everyone talky talky over there. I'm not listening. What are you guys saying? Everyone looks busy. I should have grabbed some cookies. I bought some cookies. Okay. So the inside should be getting my high voltage first. I want to check and make sure this thing is working. And what's the best way to do that? Short it out. Um, so right now it should not be working. And it's not. And now hopefully this chip doesn't burn up. And it is working. Ah, finally. Oscillating LED versus voltage. Good, that's what I want. That's good, that's good. Ow! That got me good. I had it off, but it wasn't discharged since this is DC. Oh, I didn't even burn my finger. That could have got me good. I must be careful. Ouch. Man. Awesome.
Mm, that really hurt my finger. Ooh! Wow, it actually burnt me. Holy crap. That's neat. <laughs> that DC voltage will kick your freaking butt. So I'm oscillating. I'm going to discharge this this time. But, at the right frequencies, we're not getting the right amount of output voltage, and mainly that's because I'm cutting that AC waveform up. And, uh, That's okay. Okay. Man, that really hurts. Ah, it is working even at real high frequencies. That's perfect. That's the highest frequency I got right there. Well, I think a higher frequency is actually better. It's more smooth. It's so quick that the AC waveform gets chopped up in so many places that it still allows it to travel through into the uh, into the uh, gas gun. Oh, it's still hurting. That really hurt me pretty bad hey Tony are you still out there listening Mr. Woodside golly that really hurt it hurts my chest still I really got to be a little bit more careful. <laughs> in the middle of nowhere in Canada. And he's up all night too, right this moment. Ah, ah, good job, good job, Matt. No, stop. All right, stay. All right, so ground wire is all I need. These are one of these old school jumpers that are all rotted away. I need to get some new jumpers. It's going to be my next investment. Getting some new jumpers. So we're going to connect this to ground, everyone. How about that? Ta-da! Now the only thing I don't have hooked up is the extraction grid. And to be honest, I really need that to accurately say that these tests are as close as they can get. Pretty loops. Oh, you wa are you back, Tony? I have some questions for you. Um, I'll ask them one at a time. Because, oh yeah, Pretty Loops mis mixing software is freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. My first question is. With your uh, your VIC setup, you got some cores, some real cores made at a fair right. My question is, uh, what permeabilities have you tried? Just the 2000? Or have you tried any other ones? Out of curiosity?
No, I'm not sure it's not lagging. I think it's lagging really bad, to be honest. Like, a really bad. Okay, let me try it again. I ask again. Hey, Tony. I don't know if my video is lagging, but... Anyway, if you catch this, let me know. Um, I was asking what permeability you have tried on your cores. And... Where... Where did you get them at? Uh oh, my wife has joined. Oh boy. So that that's the only one you've gotten and how much did you pay for that one core? Or did you did you have a bunch of people invest in some? <laughs> I know, she's still up. She needs to go to bed. Oh yeah, smell the ozone, smell it. I gotta get this heater over here a little bit closer, I'm cold. Okay Tony, my question to you is, you got 2000 permeability, what, um, where did you get them and how much did they cost you? Just out of pure curiosity. See if the ones we're going to be getting sometime are going to be in the same price range. And if you'd like to send that to me privately, that's fine too. I'm just more curious than anything. Try to uh, share the research, I guess. <laughs> oh, okay. Mmm, yes, with the munchies. <laughs> Alright, cool. And, if at all possible, Tony, I'm just kind of curious. I made that spreadsheet with all the measurements. Is there any way at all you would share your measurements so that um, I can help continue what I'm trying to do without doing any extra work since you guys done so much? Again, respect as you've been doing this for some time now, a lot longer than I have. All right, let's do some ionization. Put my earplugs back in. I have some more questions too. Spread them slowly. Yeah, the, all of your coil measurements. The stuff that you actually have or have published. Maybe you have them published on your website and I haven't seen. I don't know. You may. But I was curious of what you, your measurements on your coil with that permeability core, 
if you'd be willing to share that. I have a spreadsheet. I'll even fill it into the spreadsheet under your information if you'd like, or you can fill it in. Um, but trying to get a spreadsheet full of people who have done that and got measurements and then trying to get a broad range of where we're going to be at with what wires and what perm and all that kind of stuff. And trying to get something together. Um, the spreadsheet. Does anyone else in the chat room know where the spreadsheet is on the forums? Maybe you can grab it and drop the link into that post. The very latest one is under uh, one of the VIC threads. That's what you said on your post, they were doubled. So does that mean our permeability needs to be somewhere around a thousand? Does that make any sense? All right. Let's do some ionization. All right, here comes some thermal explosive energy, I hope. Hopefully it blows the shop up. That'd be awesome. Then we know it works. And it's recorded. <laughs> huh. So... That's with the ambient air running through the ionizer. And I'm going to turn the ionizer and the LEDs off and see if it sounds any different. It doesn't really sound any different. That's a lot lower than I would have thought. Does that surprise you, Tony? Or does that not surprise you? Oh, Alright, I turned everything back on. I don't really hear much difference. That's for sure. Oh, a tiny bit. Not much. Now I really need a light bulb. And I can hook that to my extraction grid. And then we'll see if it changes anything. take one out of this light right here. Mmm, cornbread. Tasty. I'm trying to find my screwdriver. Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, it's over here. Not really. Okay. I was just curious. I haven't really got to talk to you, so... Maybe in the future we can try to help each other out. For the better of what we're trying to do. I keep farting. I'm glad you guys can't hear it. I'll go inside and fart on my wife and see what she says. Storm room. Oh, well that's real helpful. The whole thing falls off. Nice. Uh, 
Okay. Good enough, I'll just throw this over inside. Put it together later. Okay. Uh huh. Yep. I, I got told the exact same thing about the tin turd. That was from an engineer at a, a company that we contacted. Josh contacted to try to get these cores calculated. If you give me um, the turns and the measurements that you have, Tony, I'll give it to this other engineer that we've been talking to and see if he can't come up with the correct number. I gave the numbers I had and they were he said they were inaccurate. Said okay. About all further we got with that particular situation. I'm starting to smell ozone. It's not really a pleasant thing. I don't really like the smell of ozone. Kind of stinks. Burns my throat. I do have it down, right? Oh, I still have it on. There we go. Thought I had it down. All right, I got my quote amp consuming device connected. I will have here in just a second. I thought I brought my big book of stuff home. I don't know where I put it. <laughs> that was fun. That's similar to what I've been doing lately is just wrapping and unwrapping. Um, it's been time consuming, but must be done. That's why it would be wonderful if we could game up on just some of this stuff to help each other out. I think it would be a wise choice of us. Okay, so the extraction grid connected to the sync pulses, the LEDs. Now see if I hear any difference. Let's let it cycle over here. Oh. Yep. Lots of the innovations. Sure doesn't sound any thermal or thermal explosion to me. Even just with the ambient ionized there, maybe I need to push less through the system. Take a few measurements. I'm going to turn this ambient air down to about 
20, 30, let's put it on 30. I need to write some of this information down, but I have it. All right. So, solely HHO. I'm let it run a few times. You just purge it out a little bit here. Fire it once. Measure it. Eight and a three quarters. HHO only. I'll purge it again. Firing HHO. Eight. Three quarter. Firing it again. Maybe. That is interesting with the uh, spark plug just quits every once in a while there. Try it again. Very interesting. Well, let's take it back out. Take a look here. Let's see if it's wet. That pure HHO, man. Look at it. It's totally wet. Completely. You might not be able to see this, but we're going to try it anyway. It'll focus. Wet. Completely filled with water. That's crazy. <laughs> it's literally just wet. Totally wet. Oh, so sweet. My wife's spending time with me. Right now. <laughs> Always. Well, my piston was completely 
wet. My spark plug was completely wet. Let's try to fire it one more time. Now that I've dried it off, let's go ahead and do the... Man, that, that's really bad for the minimal amount of HHO I just ignited that there's that much water in the line. Or as far as that part of it, that's very bad. So let's skip straight to the extra ambient oxygen. That'll help it dry it out. I'm going to go ahead and purge it. And fire it here. There we go. Okay. So, just the ambient air. I do actually have the lights on, so we could include that. That was five and a quarter. Do it again. That was four, no, three and three quarters out from the end. That one was five and a quarter. That one was five. Let's go ahead and turn on the high voltage. That's okay. There we go. <laughs> Watch plastic sheets. Plastic sheet store. <laughs> Oh. Oh. high voltage with electron extraction, gas gun, the whole works. There we go. No difference. That was five inches. That one's a little bit different. Oh, that was much better there. That was three and a quarter. That's the best so far. That's a good sign. Do it again. Yep. Four and a quarter again. Kind of went back down a little, but I didn't purge it. I think that would make a difference. Who's going that night? Oh, Jacob, see ya, buddy. Four inches. I'm gonna purge it this time. Firing. That was six inches. Firing again.
Someone's making it worse. Four and a quarter inches. Let's just change the frequency of this. Uh, let's go real low. How about that? Or even lower. Let's try that. Blacklight Power and Company. I don't think so. Should I have? Chris, how do you want me to make it better? That was three inches right there. Three and a half. Four and an eighth. That gas gun's going crazy over there. Arkin. Fire again. Three and a little bit. Still arcing. Must be moisture in the line. Oh, it died. Ionizing the exhaust gases? I don't know about that. But the incoming ambient air is what I what I gather. Alright, I'll fire this thing again. Gas gun's arcing bad. Ah, see, even better results. Two and a quarter. No, sorry, two and three quarters. Fire it again. Three and a sixteenth. Three and a half. I'm going to purge this system a little bit, see if we can't get it to do anything better. All right, firing. Hold on. Keep turning the wrong knob off and it kills the whole thing. I just wanted to turn the spark off. Alright, firing. Yep. I know it. You're right, Chris. Tis a problem. That was only four and three quarter. Three and three quarter. That one sounded better. Three and a half. 
All right, I'm gonna turn the gas gun and the LEDs off. No, you didn't miss anything important. Yeah, they do. Hey, someone's got to go work and make some money too, Miss Womanator. All right, that was just ambient air. Four inches. Nah. Four inches. Ready? Oh! Three and three quarter. Firing it again. But we're not getting any buildup when we add extra ambient air. Yeah, that was three and a quarter. So that's a good thing, because this way we can try to prevent buildup in our engine by making sure we have enough ambient air to keep this thing going. That makes sense. That's actually a good idea. So when I design my thing I got, my little intake, I'm going to have to remember that. Alright, well, I'm going to ask you guys some questions right now. Why I let this stuff cool off again. And some of my questions are, what do you think about this crazy crap? Um, <laughs> my wife says, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. We're going to make this better or worse. Um, how can I make this more accurate. Thanks, Chris. Oh, Tony's back. Oh, Tony, you changed colors. Oh my goodness, what are we going to do? So anyway, um, I, I'm really not seeing a whole lot of anything extra out of the gas gun. Um, the one reason I wanted to do this the way it's set up right now is I wanted to run this through the gas gun into the thing and fire. I want to do that all at once so I can see what's going on. If I had to try to fill up a balloon or something and light it, you never know. The half-life on this ionized air is pretty short um, for what we're doing because we're supposed to be extracting the electrons, which means it's really going to want some back. So anyway... Somebody, bye, Rob Bush. Thanks for joining, man. Get the generator out next. <laughs> um, okay, Chris, and uh, anyone else that's stating that that's very true. How can I make it better? Um, how can I make it more uh, controlled? How can I? Uh, how can I do that? What's your thoughts? Time to disconnect some of this stuff. We'll get the generator on the table <laughs> and see what happens. Now we really might see some flashbacks. <laughs> I hope not. I got these arresters on there. Very bad. Right now, I'm not worried, not considered about how fast I can get. Right now, I'm not concerned about the production. That's a whole other side of the story. I looked for a bunch of different stuff. And as far as gauges and stuff, I couldn't find anything. 
I couldn't find of something like that. And I do have the actual hydrogen bottle right there, which I could uh, also apply to these tests. And just do the hydrogen and the argon. Meter mix those in different ratios and get me a curve made on a spreadsheet. Well, I guess I'd have to have oxygen too, ambient air at least. Yeah, I see what he means. The piston I have in here actually measures the um, what you just called the expansion of volume after combustion. I'm measuring that now. What I'm not measuring is force on the piston or the PSI in the chamber. Yeah, that right there is a separator cell. That is a separator cell. Matter of fact, before I tear all this down, we can extract just the hydrogen. Very simply, by disconnecting this. But I'm going to want to pinch this hose off or else all the water is going to go the wrong way. Uh, let's see, i got to check valve. It might be alright. Let's get a plug and I'll just plug it. And then in leak, no vacuum. I gotta hook up this other bottle for the overflow spill. Um, if I can find it. There it is. This is an overflow spill container. Because what's going to happen, as a matter of fact, this is going to happen right now. That's why this didn't work last time, because the pressures on both sides of this have to be equal. So, what I can do... is use one of these meters to meter the output to try to get this from overflowing and by doing that I should be able to get what I want here oh what are you guys saying blah 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 the piston around the leaking uh, there's not a whole lot of uh, piston leak going on here and even if there is it's so little because we're, you're, we're talking about the massive force, so it's not like a low pressure leak. I don't see that as much of a problem. Yeah, the piston gets reset to the same thing. Thanks, man. Do appreciate it. All right, let me get this hooked up real quick. We'll just use the pure hydrogen and the ambient air and see what our different ratio mixes ha happen to do here. I keep farting. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's funny. <laughs> I all, every time I reset that, I reset it all the way back. And it it's flush up against my system back here. I'm going to cut some more small pieces of tubing. I can use these here. Alrighty. 
So I'm going to have to really pay attention to what's going on with my generator because I'm going to have some issues here if I don't. The uh, This is a balanced pressure system. So it's not balanced. Won't work. What are you guys doing over here? I do. I reset this every time, all the way in. They sit against a, a flat plate back here, or a flat spot. Alright, I'm going to turn this on and see if we can get it to balance before it leaks everywhere. <laughs> well, maybe. Oh, well, that should be alright. Mm, let me get a zip tie. I don't like the way that top hose looks. Just set this right there, and I'm gonna turn it on, and we're gonna try to get this thing balanced. restrict it or else it overflows and there's gauges back here clear tubes that I'm using as gauges that Bill designed into this system and by doing that I can balance pressure these oh you know what crap I'm an idiot I got these two ports open still <laughs> Hold on. Oh, jeez. I gotta cap these two ports off for this to work right. Big dummy. Oh, big dummy. I'm not very smart. Time out, everyone. Time out. I gotta do this anyway for the generator, so I'm not wasting any time or effort here. No worries. Alright, let's try this again. Again, I'll explain this to you all if you want me to. But basically, this is a hydrogen oxygen pressurized system, so when this flashback arrestor is forcing stuff back the other way because it's not flowing freely, what it does 
And that pushes a lot of water out of there. What it does is it pushes the hydrogen, pushes the water through this tube in the back out the other end. So, And I got that thing shut off. That should be rebalanced me now. I just got to keep an eye on it because... Oh, crap. I don't want that. Definitely don't want that. I got too much water in the other side now. Need to put it back. It's got that... Come on. I should go wash my hands. I'll be back. Oh, come on. Ugh. Now I'm pissed. Freaking pissed. That's wouldn't be a big concern, but this nasty crap in this water. Freaking electrolyte, I hate it. That's just freaking awesome. Well, now that I got it all over me, I'll just go ahead and redo this. And let it burn you. That makes me really irritated. I'll be back. I'm back. It really made me mad. I don't like this electrolyte at all. Really nasty stuff. Burn your hands. I could run a bunch of water or a bunch of air through that system, Chris, every time, a bunch of extra, and just make sure it's cleaned out every time. 
dried out anyway. Alright, so it's kind of my own fault for what just happened because I had technically I had the wrong side of this thing hooked up for this to be just a regular relief it's fine try it again here okay there we go Now we're going a little bit better. So if I get this balance just right, it's going to take a little bit. We'll clear this system out of any oxygen. And then once we get that far, we'll have just hydrogen coming out of here. And I, I need that anyway for the, for the generator. I want I want to just play with the hydrogen. This thing's touchy. I gotta keep checking it because if the water heats up or cools down, I'm gonna have two different problems here. Oh my! I'm gonna have to go back and read the log. Hey, oh, smash it up. You still out there, or you, did you crash? Alright, I'm just going to fire this a couple times with no piston. Clear out any extra stuff. I totally forgot to vent my tube outside earlier, I think. That's a bad problem. Hey, um, does this stuff, do you have to manually log? Or are you logging right now? The chat and stuff, how does that work? Now it's going outside. Like at the end of the day, do you have to chat it? Or I mean, uh... Oh, so it's not logging? Is it logging right now? Has it been logging the whole time? Oh, okay. I'm just gonna let this thing fire. Now it's starting to die off. That's because we're just getting that hydrogen. Still mixing, I guess. Now I got louder. That was odd. Need to put a reed switch with a valve on this thing and just let it oscillate.
Check out the ambient air on. That turns it off. That would be a good project for you, Al, vapor carburetor. Tony, when you gotta go to work? I know half these people, I know their schedule. What's your schedule? Still at school? I don't think so, right? Or are you? I don't know. Me and you haven't really talked at all. Kind of curious, curious if I have a speech as I am uh, go. Still blowing stuff up. Yeah, that was loud. Probably. Pretty loud. Yeah, what if I turn it off? Now how is it? Any better? La 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 la. Okay, back to the banging. Still lighting, which is odd to me. The only thing I can think of is the exhaust gases inside there is what's doing it. Awfully loud. That we have a breach in our cell. Which I haven't tested in a while, but I haven't really used it separately either. Put on some ambient air.
Let's see here. Alright. Well, kind of curious if I have a breach. One other thing I could do is bleed all these lines out. Oh well. That is loud. Job hunting's fun. Okay, well, that was an interesting test. Not sure what the deal is there, but I'm going to go ahead and hook <coughs> both of these gases back up so I don't have to try to play with this balancing act. And I don't think I'm going to have enough gas to run this generator, but I am curious if we can get a get some sputtering out of it. I'll have to do some testing with that another day on the HHO cell there. I don't know whether I should uh, set it on the table or not. Probably should. You guys are having an interesting conversation. Are you asking me what kind of volume of gas I can create or somebody else? I would make sure this is all off. Um, I checked it last week. I'll check it again, but it was somewhere around two and a half liters. So, that's with the amount of electrolyte I have in here right now. I can get more out of it with more electrolyte. I think I can get up to like six or four. But I'm not pulling as many amps as I can. I can get about ten more amps out of it than what I'm doing right now, so and not hurt the cell or anything. Yeah, he he did some stuff with that. I recently watched some of his videos, <coughs> but he's not recycling exhaust gases or introducing other gases such as ionized, which at this point with no compression, I'm not seeing a whole lot of difference, but I think that will make some difference.
Okay. Yeah. I think the generator will be okay just chilling up here. I don't see it being too much of a problem. I'm going to play with this generator for a little while and then uh, I really need to hook up the hydrogen. I'm just kind of afraid to do that inside my garage right now. I'd rather be outside, but I might do it short increments just to try it, see how much we need to get it to go on just pure hydro hydrogen, ambient air and stuff. Kind of curious to see that. I don't have my... Um, I, I built this thing and then decided that it didn't fit. So I might be able to get this still to fit on my exhaust port if I can. I can run my exhaust back in. Otherwise, uh, I just have to wait till another day. Didn't fit. Time to bust out the Doritos. That's what I just saw. But I'm using a 7 horsepower motor. A bit bigger than uh, what he was using. So as all of you know, if you've been paying attention to my videos and my logs over at the forums, you know that I made a manifold. You know how I put it in here, you know how I hooked it all up. Those of you who did not, um, basically, I made a manifold that goes in the front side and it's going to pull a vacuum. When I run this engine it'll pull a vacuum because it's before the butterfly valves. So basically I'm just going to have to try to watch that. But what I want to do is actually pump air into the system so I don't have to mess with the butterfly and also we'll pump the hydrogen oxygen mixture into the engine I'm going to turn my camera on I'm probably going to delete some stuff first Thanks, Bruckus. That turned out well. If I got to make one similar for the other side. Hmm. Yeah, looks like I cleared it off already. Ready to rock and roll. Hour and 27 minutes. I'm just going to let it eat. I think I got the SIM card in here too. <coughs> or the, uh, the other card. So, if something explodes, we should get it. And I'll be wearing earplugs. 
because last time my other container exploded and it really hurt my ears. If I can just get this thing to putt a few times, it'd be a good thing. Um, right now the, the throttle is hooked up to itself. It's hooked up to like its own governor, so eventually I probably need to make that a hand throttle. <laughs> uh, 5 a.m.? Where are you at, Tony? Want some Doritos? I got some. It's only 350. My house. Ah. I don't know how I do it. You guys just keep me going. If it weren't for you, I'd be screwed. Alright. Power's on. Um, extra ambient air is on. I'm going to go ahead and turn it. Yeah, I'll just put it low. I'll just set it to 80. That sounds pretty high. It's blowing pretty good. Turn down to 40. Um, get me another piece of tubing out. Hook up my hydroxy generator to this sucker and pull the cord. Details, details, details. Turning the hydrogen oxygen mixture on. Flashback arrestor is in place. I have to go to the restroom. Ambient air is on. I'm going to go ahead and turn the choke all the way on. Kind of use my input air as a control. My other camera is running. My Doritos are tasting very good. And let's just try it. If it puts puts a little, I'll be okay with that. Might not do anything. I think I got everything hooked back up. I took this thing apart pretty far. Here we go. Nothing. 
Pulling a lot of vacuum on my extra air input though, that's for sure. It's interesting. Open my choke. I'm gonna give it uh, less ambient air. Definitely pulling a vacuum on my HXO device. Oh, kind of felt easier there for a second. You know what I should do is fill up a balloon. That way I got some pressure. And it can take as much as it would like. Sounds like a sounds like something to try. It takes forever to fill a balloon up though. It has in the past anyway. Well, that's going pretty good. Haha, <laughs> gas capacitor! <laughs> Ah, uh, that's a good one. I like that. It is a gas capacity. That's exactly the way. Yeah. Once it doesn't blow up in my face. I need to, uh, get that little valve out again. Hook this balloon to it. I should probably hook all this up to a, a valve before I fill this up, because I'm not going to be able to take it off here very well. Um, let's see what I can do. Yeah, I'm definitely making teeny tiny bits of <laughs> it's 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 balloons gonna take forever to fill up. Gas tap. Yeah, that would be a wise choice to keep this away from the open flame. And I will be keeping this away from the open flame. It's okay, it's just small balloon. I've blown up plenty of these in my days. Ridiculous gas production. You are correct, but it's all I have. I have real hydrogen over there that will light. We'll uh, get one of my little flow meters out and see what it takes to get this to run on hydrogen. Until then, we'll try this balloon and see what happens. I need an adapter.
for now. Let's call that good. Uh oh. That's not what I wanted. Not at all. Can't get the stupid thing off. Okay, here goes nothing. Hydrus balloon. I do have the flashback arrestor in there. Um, I really need to plug one more of these holes. I guess I'll just do this. There we go. I go ahead and leave the choke wide open. I had a flashback arrestor in there, so I may need to take it out. I'm thinking I'm going to. Because it's not allowing enough to flow through here. And if the balloon, blows, if the balloon blows up, the balloon blows up. Okay, here goes some fun stuff. This should be interesting. Ah! Oh. Oh, <laughs> uh, hey! The balloon blew up. I've never seen so much dust. Holy crap! <laughs> oh my gosh, that was awesome. That is hydroxy. At one pole, kaboom. Okay, that's a little. That's why I'm a little afraid to hook up the hydrogen bottle. To be honest with you. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I did see Scare Scarecrow blow off his exhaust. That's funny. Um. <laughs> well, now <laughs> what? That uh, seriously, like. There is so much red balloon debris over here. That was a good concussion. I'm glad I had my earplugs in. <laughs> yeah, four stroke. Wow, what exactly uh, is falling from the sky? There's all sorts of dust falling from all over the place. That's awesome. <laughs> It's kind of why I wanted the flashback arrestor in there, but there wasn't enough pressure to push through that thing. That was neat. <laughs> Holy crap. Close the choke. Choke's wide open. Why don't we close the choke for There, I closed the choke. Yeah, this is true. Electric starter would be nice. No, there's no talc. It, well, probably a little, but there's literally like real things falling from the sky. Oh well. That's why I have the flashback erection. Pure hydrogen should not even light.
that. It sure is explosive. Kind of scares me. I won't lie. It's a bit intense. Holy crap! That was pretty cool. Ow. That's going crazy. Popcorn silly. Hi Tony. You missed it. It exploded. That was pretty neat. The concrete cross. <laughs> yeah, this is true. It should not flash back. I know. I realize that. It's still scary. I'll be honest. It's not your house or your body. So sure you're gonna say, yeah, just do it. Just do it. Don't worry about it. Just do it. But I can assure you, we'll make this twit this test really quick. And I'm gonna turn off my heater. Just because. Ah, oh, Lee, that was loud. Good thing I had my earplugs. Okay. I don't think I tightened that yet. I better tighten that first. <laughs> that was intense. I pulled it and it blew up. That was it. Very, very, very short amount of time to explosion. Okay. Well, now that I'm already in the zone, if you want to say that. <laughs> what are we all saying over here? Tony, you can go back and watch it. It'll be on there. I'll highlight it. I'll highlight it in my, in my uh, showing, so just have to look for that. Everyone else, too. Or if somebody else finds the timeline before me. Alright, so the only thing I need now is my flow meter. Man, this ho this barb hose is hard to get out of this particular adapter. Now, these are high flow volume meters and Unfortunately, that's all I have right now. Oh yeah. Fard. Okay. Well, wish me luck again. I'm going to set this at 5 PSI. Alright. 
Um, I'm going to hook this up to my ventilation tube and check, see if I can even visually see 5 psi release. Oh yeah. So I could set that even lower. Let's set it at a uh, That's half that, two and a half psi. <laughs> 